Normally I like to run out and you would think I should with my song I just put on, but I, I kind of felt like sauntering to be honest because uh, I wanted to hear a little more of that song and once I hit one of these X's and they stopped the song, so I almost circled around. Wasn't that concert awesome last night? Ah, oh, that, was, that was incredible. I saw a few of the band members this morning. I just said, great concert. Thank you so much. I've been to a number of their concerts, and Ryan Tedder wasn't there yet, and uh, one of them said, man, we've got the best front man, don't we? <clears throat> and I thought, that is such a doTERRA answer. They were so easy to give gratitude and, and recognition for people beyond ourselves, because you have to wonder. <laughs> So we will bring them back. I hope they come back. Um, <laughs> it is so great to be together. I needed your love and energy even more than I knew. Uh, it's time to celebrate because everything we do is a celebration of nature's pure gifts from the earth via our farmer and distiller partners to us and from us via you, our wellness advocate, to the people. So let's keep celebrating. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and I appreciate that. But why are you here? I'm here because of Samuel Gachira. Samuel is married with two sons and a daughter. He lives at the base of Mount Kenya and grows tea tree and geranium and employs seven people on just two acres of land. doTERRA has changed his life, his family's life, and his employees' life. And this woman, who I will call Krista. Uh, I will not use her real name or picture to protect her identity, but she is a thriving blue diamond wellness advocate. These are two people's faces who are in my mind every day when I wake up and, and head to work. Krista, uh, when I first met her, could not look me in the eye. Indeed, she couldn't look any any man in the eyes because she lived with a monster at home. She had a really, she had a really bad life at home and two beautiful children. She had no support, she had nothing else, but doTERRA found her and it wasn't too long until she began to have a friend, a team, a community, and she moved up those ranks and her confidence built, and now she can very much look me in the eye and tell me what we should be doing better. Uh, <laughs> she is incredible, and I love to see that. It transformed a wonderful woman. She kicked the monster out. She is living her own wonderful life. Yes. And now, with the added resources she has, she is giving back in her area uh, to battered women's homes and making and transforming other people's lives. That's what doTERRA is to me. So, <clears throat> so thinking back on the last 18 months, a familiar story came to mind. Early one morning, a little girl ran down to the beach only to discover Hundreds of starfish had washed up after the previous evening's storm. She knew that as the morning tide retreated, they would soon be stranded, only to die out, dry out and die in the sun. So she quickly started picking them up and throwing them back into the sea. One by one, starfish were returned to safety. Her little legs had been running up and down the shore for about two hours when a nearby fisherman approached her, shaking his head girl, you can't save all these starfish. There are miles and miles of them all along the shoreline. Go home, you can't begin to make a difference. After listening politely, the girl bent down, picked up another starfish and threw it back into the surf. Then smiling at the man, she said, I made a difference for that one. <laughs> Now, see, this is, this, is where I, this is where I ruin it. I have you with me, and I'm going to ruin it right here. I, because you've probably heard the time before, and it may still give you goosebumps, goosebumps. And it's true, saving one starfish or one person is wonderful. 
At least this girl was doing something good, unlike the old cynical guy. But I have a little confession. I've never loved the story, and I like it even less now. I want to save all the starfish. I want to be with a team, an organization that can save all the starfish. And especially after COVID-19, the beach is looking a little bit like uh, that last slide to me. Why? Well, consider a recent Harvard report that chronicles how, even before COVID-19, doctors and policymakers were sounding the alarm about global spikes in loneliness. The statistics reported back in a 2019 Forbes article are jarring. In Japan, more than half a million people under 40 uh, hadn't left their house or interacted with anyone for at least six months. Nearly half of Britons over 65 considered their television or a pet their main source of company. Okay, I see what you're doing here. <laughs> very funny, um, very funny. Uh, this was supposed to be the serious part of my presentation, but well done, touche. Um, I do have friends beyond my dogs, don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> as I was saying, loneliness was found to be the number one fear of UK young people, ranking ahead of losing a home or a job. And here in the US, the numbers are equally grim. In 2018, again before the pandemic, a full 46% of Americans reported always or sometimes feeling alone. And the percentage of Americans who said they had no close friends quadrupled since 1990. Scientists have long known that, that loneliness can lead to significant mental health issues. I'm grateful for Greg Cook, who not only was the first person from doTERRA to meet me, but also has been so devoted uh, uh, to this incredible problem, both here with doTERRA and on his personal mission with his family. But only since 2015 have people really realized how devastating loneliness is to the body. Indeed, researchers at UCLA discovered that social isolation triggers cellular changes that result in chronic inflammation, predisposing the lonely to serious physical conditions like heart disease, stroke, cancer, Alzheimer's disease. And one analysis found that lonely individuals had a 20% higher risk of dying. It's no wonder that Vivek Murthy, a former Surgeon General, called loneliness an epidemic and compared its dire impact on health to smoking 15 cigarettes per day. The state of mental health in the US and Canada has been worsening for many years now, and the pandemic essentially threw gasoline on that fire. In addition to higher incidences of eating disorders, substance abuse, depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, Many of us are also experiencing burnout, loneliness, sleep problems, and the ongoing stress of being a caregiver. Now more than ever is the time to keep up our strong social networks. They aren't only essential for our physical and mental health, they are core to our very humanity. Indeed, the last couple of months, I've been thinking a lot about the Dalai Lama, who I was fortunate enough to spend time with on two separate visits, and I think often of his wisdom that he shared. He said, to attain happiness, one must be able to say, my life is something meaningful, something useful. This, in turn, requires an understanding of our common purpose, which is taking care of each other is our human nature. Let me say that again, taking care of each other is our human nature. At least it's supposed to be. We at doTERRA are actively pursuing the meaningful life by striving each day to take care of each other. One person, one family, one community at a time, and doTERRA's approach fully embodies that vision. So doTERRA is amazing, fulfilling, transformational, but what about our direct selling model? And I was immediately in awe of Co-Impact Sourcing. I researched the seven founders uh, for about eight months before joining, and, and I had good access. I was on our governor's advisory team, our attorney general's cabinet. I could really look into them. I spent some time on Rob Young, but there was nothing there. Um, <laughs> you know those creative geniuses. There should be, there's usually something. 
I, we looked, I looked, there was nothing, only positive things. Still, MLM, hmm, hmm, right? Yeah, well, everyone here is like, eh, hmm. You love the oils, you love the mission. But now more than ever, after all I've witnessed and experienced, both before and especially during COVID-19, I am, and any of you want to take me on, we can do it. Uh, we'll have a debate, a Terra Talk debate. I am the world's biggest advocate for not just doTERRA, but doTERRA's sales model. I could speak for hours on the historic women empowerment that direct selling has had dating back to the 1880s. It has been transformational to the societal fabric of dozens of countries. And by the way, did you know that the first woman to ever grace the cover of Business Week was a direct selling distributor? That's true, Brownie Wise. So you are changing the world, changing the societal fabric, changing people's lives. Um, and we now know that it's no fluke that just over 50% of all essential oils are sold through direct selling. Of course, it makes great sense that the power of each essential oil and personally helping others to maximize their health and wellness in a more targeted and effective way would come through knee to knee, as Corey said. I mean, truly, how is an oily newbie going to just walk down an aisle or scroll through a screen and figure out what to use when most effectively, that's what you do for them. And we thank you for your teaching and your education. We don't exist without you and your knowledge and expertise and love. Now, honestly though, even though, even beyond examining the, the logical use of the oils, what other approach is going to heal our increasingly lonely world? Option one. You sit alone, scrolling on your phone through page after page of shirts, shoes, whatever. You find one you like, you push a button or two, and then a couple of days later, someone sprints from their car, leaves it on your porch, and sprints back to their car. Zero human interaction. That's not helping anyone. Option two, you go to an event with people who are trying to live healthier. You make friends, you learn about some amazing natural products, you join a team, you build your own teams, you establish lifelong relationships with people from all over the world. You nourish and delight those relationships at these frequent events, retreats and trips. You are incentivized to care about and stay in frequent touch with people beyond yourself and your immediate family. I can tell you that Krista would not have been saved by online cells. Who else would have taken a chance on someone who had such massive and difficult problems at home and such low self-esteem? You. You would, you did, and you will continue to see the best of people. Crystal went from feeling isolated, beaten, and defeated to empowered, liberated, and joyful. She went from being broke and friendless to financially independent and surrounded by thousands of friends who look up to and rely on her. That is doTERRA. Is there anything better that we could be doing right now together than healing this divided and lonely world? I don't think so. Healing is not passive. Healing is growth, development, and deeper enlightenment. Healing is change. It takes time, energy, and struggle. Healing is often a lifelong process that brings knowledge and joy. Healing is active. Yes, we need to feel and to act. Also know this, the tide is rising and will buoy our efforts. Your wonderful actions will be magnified a million fold. We are doTERRA. We are the gift of the earth that gives back. So, what do we know? We learned a lot yesterday. We learned that Ryan Tedder has much more productive three hours than I do with Halo. Uh, we learned uh, from David Sterling that our purpose as a company may be very simple to say. It may be healing. We learned that Emily really loves to say the word pain. <laughs> we learned uh, that Dr. Hill has it. 
Now you wonder about that. Of course, you saw that he has it. But I learned on Wednesday night that this guy has it. Um, I was at dinner and a big table of doTERRA people called me over and we were chatting and uh, they were telling me different, of course they were very nice at first, but then they started telling me stuff we need. We need to do better, some IT payment, this product, that product. Finally, one woman, a few years, Dr. Hill's senior, said, Kirk, I only need one thing from you. I'm like, oh, what's that? She said, 15 minutes alone with Dr. Hill. <laughs> I, said, I said, he's married, very happily married, a beautiful Chris, and she said, I'm happily married too. <laughs> her daughter grabbed her and said, Mom, get under control. But that is, that is something that Dr. Hill has. So what else do we know? Um, one, doTERRA is a startup ready to explode. It is all set to be the hottest startup of 2022. I don't know if you believe me, but I do love the saying, trust but verify. So here are seven things for you to know that we know right now. Um, as I said, first, doTERRA is a startup ready to explode. Many of you have worked very hard for a decade or more, but make no mistake, we are just beginning. Outside of our wonderful doTERRA bubble, people are just barely beginning to know who we are. Oops, go back one slide, I'm sorry. Only 6% of Americans are aware of the doTERRA brand without being aided. 6%. Even when aided, awareness of doTERRA is still only 16%. We have a lot of sharing ahead of us. Check this out. We didn't provide our numbers to the Direct Selling Association, but we are at number 7 or 8 on the DSA 100 at this moment. So yes, we have had an incredible first 13 years, but we are barely a teenager. Look at the companies ahead of us, 62 years old, 41 years old, 135 and 138 years old. My gosh, my youngest daughter is four years older than doTERRA. So yes, thanks to you, we exploded out of the gate, but now we are a startup with a lot of resources and advantages. Number two, doTERRA has the right and the best people. That's you! <laughs> I think it was Alfred Hitchcock who said, 90% of successful movie making is in the casting. The same is true in life. You are the right and the best people. The genius, indeed the fail-safe of our startup prospectus, is you. Three, doTERRA has to keep up with your awesomeness. You have felt some of our corporate growing pains. You are better than we are, but we are catching up again. Some of you may remember my analogy of Florence Chadwick, the great long distance open water swimmer, and the doTERRA corporate team as your support boat. I know that we need to row faster to keep up with you. Here is a photo of doTERRA corporate in 2008. We grew and evolved to try and keep up with you. But now we have millions of swimmers in the water. We are rethinking and rebuilding to better support you. <laughs> we are thinking big, we are thinking small. Product information pages or PIPs may seem small. Uh, and like so many things, our original PIPs were more than enough in 2008, here it is, but not nearly enough in 2021. Ah, so I'm proud to introduce the new PIPs, the new product information pages. <laughs> we have new ones for every product introduced at this convention on our website, on the app starting today. So we've got good, we've got better, we've got best. The pursuit continues. We are developing and strengthening a team to match your brilliance. Uh, it is a team that will be driven not only by passion, but also by robust clinical research, data science, and game-changing creativity. A team that is laser-focused on helping you reach and expand your effectiveness into key demographics. In short, we are aggressively pursuing dozens 
of uh, increasingly pursuing dozens of honed, purpose-driven, and synergistic innovations that will help you more effectively share and enroll over the coming months. And we are planning ahead on everything, pre-launch, launch, launch post-launch. You are going to know in advance, our leaders, what we're doing and be ready to give it to your team. Yes. <laughs> in fact, I can announce our next three convention themes right now. I want you to know we are thinking ahead on everything. You ready? Each con convention theme is not only a title, but provides focus that extends to new products, clinical research, corporate innovations, humanitarian impact activities, market releases, and more. We are evolved, we're gonna be rooted, centered, and reaching. I can't wait. Number four, we know that COVID-19 has made people even more attracted to our products. There is a silver lining to this thing. That's right. That's right. <laughs> there is significant consumer demand for those wanting to live a healthier life and minimize chemicals they put into their bodies. How do we know this? We know it from you, and we have the data, mountains of data. But here are just a few to consider. Younger people are much more interested in holistic wellness. Men are much more interested in holistic wellness. There's a demographic we could easily expand, right? And we're going to have the products to help you do that. Uh, people choose more natural products over more effective products. Fortunately, with doTERRA, you don't have to choose. With doTERRA, you get the most effective supplements and skincare because they are pure and natural. We know that people want essential oils. When many of you started, you tell me that almost no one knew what an essential oil was. You have changed that dynamic. You personally have changed that dynamic. Verify Markets, an independent New York law firm, not law firm, firm, consulting firm that analyzes many different markets, projects the global uh, markets and reach of all sorts of industries including for the first time the global aromatherapy and essential oils market to experience a massive growth over the next five years. They project from 7.8 billion to 18.7 billion in 2026. Yeah, I mean, that's what's ahead. Verify Markets now believes they have underestimated that growth. They completed the most recent analysis before any of us knew anything about COVID-19. They now realize that while our sector was fast growing, perhaps the fastest growing sector in the world, pre-pandemic, the events of the last two years and the trend of self-care and natural remedies has accelerated a passion for essential oils, a huge opportunity for doTERRA wellness advocates. If the world's most trusted essential oil company is not going to give it to them, who will? If not you, who? Of course it will be you. And that is yet another reason why I can confidently say that doTERRA is the world's hottest startup opportunity. So do the math. Even if we just keep our current pace in relation to the rest of our industry, and we have always far exceeded the industry's pace, we're poised to grow almost three times in just the next few years. We have far more growth ahead in the next 13 years than we have had in the past 13 years. You know it, I know it. You need to help everyone else understand that. Six, we know that doTERRA has by far the best foundation and resources. Again, don't take my word for it. You heard Russ and Dr. Hill. You're going to hear more and more at Terra Talks. But as attested by Verify Markets, we are unquestionably, unquestionably the market leader with the biggest future. We know that the ankle biter, synthetic gas station checkout essential oil companies will continue to lose market share, even if they did manage to annoy us just a little over the last few years. The pandemic has taught them when it matters, you don't mess around with that stuff. And as you heard, we're going to be able to prove that to them. 
Verify Market singles out doTERRA as the company best equipped to evolve into an even more successful company than it has been over the past decade. So again, this isn't me, it isn't a founder, this is some, some, some accountants and analysts sitting in New York figuring this stuff out. Now that people know the quality of the essential oil really matters for their health, says Verify Markets, they will continue to leave the synthetic stuff in droves. We have the fruit, they have the Skittles, let's give them some fruit. And Verify Markets is right. doTERRA has the best advocates and the most powerful sourcing supply chain. We are ready to roll. Speaking of supply chain, this won't be the first or the last time you've seen this map, but just pause for a moment to recognize how remarkable it is. No other company comes close, and this is the whole game over the next decade in sourcing the best essential oils. In short, the doTERRA family is simply the best at sharing essential oils. Oops, go back just real quick, could you? I want to make sure you get the quote. There you go. In short, doTERRA is simply the best at sharing and sourcing essential oils. I'm not bragging, I'm just quoting, doTERRA has been the singular reason for the rapid market extension. doTERRA has quickly risen to global domination of the market. Congratulations, that is you, that is you that did that. I love doTERRA because we have the means to find love to find, love, and save thousands, hundreds of thousands of people at a true time of need. That is why I'm devoted to doTERRA. What else could we be doing where I could have even a fraction of this impact at this critical time? I tried politics, government, higher education. I can do more good in one minute in doTERRA because of you than I could in any of those places. There are millions of people who have more joy, hope, and fulfillment because of doTERRA and because of you. I am increasingly convinced that doTERRA's commitment to taking care of each other is more than just a core value. It is core to our future growth and financial success. Thank you for being with us. I am so grateful that we are dreaming together because I know without a shadow of a doubt that our future has never been brighter. doTERRA changed Samuel's and Krista's lives and they have profoundly changed mine and my family's life. Let's change the world and let's save all the starfish. Thank you so much. Thank you. And run, run, run. Yeah,